Hey, how's it going? My name is John and welcome to Fall Row. Hit that intro. All right, we're picking up where we left off and we're playing as Galeb now. Um, I don't really know what our goal is here. Find Caius. Is that how you pronounce that? Mr. Underwood, I'm sorry, but my instructions are clear. You little shit. I'm just following orders. You have no idea what's at stake. What's going on over here, guys? My most honored sire. Oh, we found the security room, it looks like. I'm here. I'd Either that, that or they're trading stocks in there. Funding. I call it respect. It appears that it's something that sewer rats know nothing about. Apparently, Caius feels. Can you even talk? I mean, you look like a, a sewer rat. The primogen. I won't forget it. We have forty-seven percent success rate. Let's just try it. Ah, that was a bad idea. Fuck. Fuck. This isn't just a courtesy visit. You need him. Oh, right. don't worry about me. I always manage on my own. Tell me, you haven't introduced me to your charming protege yet. The girl? Zhu Feng. Feng? <laughs> yes, Zhu Feng. A name that's as delectable as her blood, I'm sure. Ah, Guess it sucks for you that you'll never find out, huh? You're to the very select club of Galeb Bazaar's progeny, aren't you? You really see yourself in a higher position than you are, huh? I hope that the prince will allow me to, shortly. I hope so for your sake. Who knows? Our dear Hazel is so unpredictable. What is this? By letting down his guard, Galeb has... Let his first child get to him, and this will be noticed. Oh, his authority is weakened? Oh, fuck. That's not good. I'm gonna have to kill somebody or something in front of him. At any rate, it would be an honor for me to welcome and guide her. You will speak of nothing I fucked with up. her at all. Is that an order? A word of advice. Oh, pardon me. I fell out of the habit of receiving advice from you so long ago. Bro well, boy, don't get snippy with me. Excuse me, I must end this ever so pleasant conversation. Just because you're my child doesn't <laughs> mean you have to actually to act like a child. Too much money. But if you act like that, I mean, I'll I'll ground you right now. Try me. Think I won't? Barrel's handwriting. He was trying to contact Fuck his, his barrel. associates. They're throwing a lot of names at me like I'm supposed to this know who they are. List. These names sound familiar. I like this guy's voice a lot. Mr. Bazori, can I help you? I need to see Caius. He doesn't want anyone. Bro, those masks are Prince's sick. Orders. I see. I like those. He's holed up in the server room. You'll need a pass to get in. There's one on his desk. Thank you. Now fuck out of my way. Where am I looking for it again? I already, I probably shouldn't have been mean to him. Can you report on mortal evolution and environmental degra degradation? Humans are Nobody's answering there either. causing a lot of problems. Office. The key card must be in there. Because of course we are. When are we not? Who the fuck are you? Mr. Leto isn't in his office. Are you supposed to be here? Does it matter? Security has been increased to the maximum. I've never seen anything like it. I ain't got a code for that. Do you? I assume not. I need quiet. If I talk to you, Mr. Leto will tear me a new one. I don't care. I imagine she sent you. Finally. Oh, some you're Leto. Good news on this okay. shitty night. It is Leto, right? What's the situation? Not good. Not good at all. I hope it's not Leto. I don't want this to turn into a Morbius situation. You want details. Tell me what happened. 
Everything was going as planned. Let's until work our way through the list, I guess. PM, the prince's child, Miss Sellers, contacted me. The Hartford Warlocks had just arrived. That's the last time we heard from. Why do you got so many nose holes? Less than twenty minutes later, we received the code red. That doesn't seem normal. We leaving to join them. He must have burned a second hole with a lot of coke in the nineties. Who sounded the alert? A man named Wu. Ever heard of him? A retainer, one of Jason Moore's bodyguards. Moore, the asset manager. What was he doing at the unification party? He was supposed to answer technical questions about the financial viability of the agreement. Moore is good at hiding our kind trafficking. He's one of them, after all. And you're the one who received the Code Red, personally. It arrived directly here. It's authentic. I verified it. Anything that could be of interest to the Prince. That doesn't mean it's I'm real. I'm working on it. Jara Drury is the expert, not me. If only she was here. Where is she? Any movement with the Anarchs? As usual, they're keeping their distance. You know it's always a pain in the ass to locate them. Any word from Hartford? Do you think it's them? It would be I think it could be anybody. I knew we should never have trusted those damn warlocks. That feels like racist. Jara. Nothing at all. <laughs> it's That's like calling them gypsies good. or something. According to the protocol, she should have been there early. If they got hit, she would have been first in line. There's one thing we haven't considered. Oh yeah? The Crimson Oaks. The fuck are the Crimson Oaks? What's that? It's a new outfit that came to town a while ago. But they're very discreet. All right. Okay, it's not much. Yeah, uh, just a gut feeling, but I could be wrong. Leave no stone unturned. Hello. You. It's about damn time. Shit. What? You're... Oh Hello? great, something's going on. Damn it! This is never a good them. sign. Who was it? Whoa. Shit. Now it's just ringing. What did he say? The party was indeed attacked. Apparently it Fuck. was a real bloodbath. He and James had just enough this is time bad. to get more out. They're stopping by his place to pick up some sensitive documents. And then what? Are they coming here? I don't know. We got cut off. Call him back. I'll inform Hazel. This is a critical moment for us. I have summoned you here tonight to organize our reaction to an imminent threat. What threat exactly? We've got no reason yet to Cut think- Cut her off again and I'll slit your throat. Oh, calm oh. down, bro. Excuse me. Jesus. Careful, How dare you speak to me like that? Enough. You... I command you to be silent and listen to me. Oh, so that's how it is. That's enough. Bell. Didn't know she could do that. Yes, it's come to this. You would do well to listen to your <clears throat> sire. We have just been. <laughs> He's not going to listen to me now. This is not a time for childish displays of discontent. Galeb, the code red was sent by Wu. Go to Moore's and find out what's going on. As you wish. And bring Moore back to me. He was supposed to be at the party. I don't understand why he's the only one who was able to call us. I would like to speak to him very much. Consider it done. I trust Looks you. like we know what our job he is. He might be involved in this. So gather any documents you can find there that could tie us to him. Very well. Delson, see if you can get Caius to find us a new middleman in the cane business to manage- Why is this business. guy so wide-eyed at me? I don't want to take any chances. Then, I want you to talk to everyone. Somebody must have seen or heard something. 
Dajon. <laughs> what is with his Make eyes? Make sure all our defenses are in place. Yes, Hazel. M.M., you will go to the old Jefferson Library. What's there? That's where the Hartford Chantry calls home here. I gave them the building so they could have a base in Boston. I demand to take her place. Request denied. What game <laughs> are you playing, Hazel? Get fucked. It's a suicide mission. It's all right. I got this. I'm not made of sugar. She's not ready for this kind of mission. I should go with her at the very least. No, you will remain here. Why is she so obsessive? Alone. Why don't you send Dijon instead? Enough, Hilda. Dajan has work to do elsewhere, and I don't need to explain myself. Hazel, if anything happens to her, I'll... Nothing, Hilda. You'll do nothing. Oof. It's high time you out alpha her the fuck out. Which one of us are you planning to I don't even know what party? that means. I feel like I just said a She's jumble of random words. What? Who? I sent Laisha. Are you serious? A few hours ago, she was snoozing behind locked doors in a psych ward. You're playing a dangerous game, Hazel. Without us, you would never have come into power. You've <clears throat> chosen the worst possible moment to turn your back on us. On the contrary. I find this moment very appropriate. I am the Prince of Boston, and you are the Primogen. I owe you nothing. Delson, escort them out. The session is adjourned. You all have your instructions. I can't tell if she's just like a really strict boss or if she's like a bad guy. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's very hard to differentiate the two in this game so far. Oh shit, we get to like, choose now? Oh, okay, well let's just start... ...on the left, I guess. It seems like they're all taking place at the same time, so... Let's just go with this. We'll work our way over. So this is like the next day. After the Code Red was issued, Hazel, the Prince of Boston, mobilized all her resources. Got it. Men must meet with Osborne to clarify the situation. All right, fair enough. Ooh, we actually get an upgrade. Um, what do I want to upgrade? Well, we need disciplines first for sure. What can we get? Let's do that, I guess. And then... Persuasion? Seems good enough to me. Oh, uh, what the fuck? Unification, huh? What the hell? Done. Why is this happening? Is this actually a mem? What the fuck did she get herself into? It's been like two minutes. <laughs> Go to meet with a guy and I'm being dragged through a fucking mine shaft? What's going on? Nothing you'll remember. Pooh, that's no! ominous. Don't leave. Hold on, do we got outfit changes? Yo. Love that kind of attention to detail. You'd love to see it. Out here looking like Catwoman? Hell yeah. And her hair is different, I think. What the hell is going on? That's so cool. On? 
Also, yeah, I'm with her. What the fuck? What is this? Prison? This is a prison? What am I doing here? Is this one of those, I like, I was born in the dark type bullshits? Alright, cool. Well, I'm gonna leave this video off here real quick before we go too far. Uh, and then we'll pick up in the next one and figure out what the hell's going on in this supposed prison. So, thanks for stopping by. I really appreciate it. And hope I see you in the next video. Later. I mean, I mean, we just trying to chill. <laughs>